Birthday Hawa, birthday Hawa Shai, birthday Hawa, birthday Hawa Shai, Kahaloi Mohua, Allah Hainai, Hawa Shima Shabbish and Kakadash. Give it all praise and honor and glory to you, Hawa Shima Shabbish and Kakadash, and give a double honor to our other apostles and uh, elder bishops, a great millstone, who well, peace and salutation to elect. Shimia Mapa and is a Mapa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp located here in the city of Philadelphia. It's coming with a wee lesson. Barakatha Yahweh means bless you, Yahweh, or bless you to the Most High, Yahweh. Alright, that's the Most High actual proper name and only name, which um, the world only calls God, Jehovah. Um, and <clears throat> they would say that the, the title Lord. But his true name, with all caps, but his true name is Yahweh. Alright, which you go into the Hebrew and see it. Bahashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father in the world, and he called Jesus Christ, Christ, and Yeshua. True name is uh, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh obviously is not the name of the Heavenly Father as well. I must note that. Um, it's another uh, false name. All right, uh, some would say he's the Lord, but his name is Yahweh, which means he is he to be. Yahweh Shai is the deliverer, he the deliverer for the nation of Israel. Nation of Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, and you is like foreigners, like unto the speckled bird that have been scattered across the four winds that come forth in different various appearances. But lineage, by the way, your fathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So Shemiah Mopin is a Mopin from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Habawa, I am the Mighty Mike. Come on, let's a little R.V. lesson. You have it here. Um, I'm just doing a, a re. And, well, I'm presenting it pretty much online. Um, the camp we had <coughs> did a uh, Hebrew word of the week. And um, what I had chose through the Spirit was from the excerpt of Psalms chapter 4 and 3 which is a very 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 uplifting verse to know okay um which reads here in the Hebrew I mean pardon <laughs> in the English and then I'll read it uh or get the actual word pardon but know that Yahweh Psalms 4 and 3 but know that Yahweh has set apart him that is godly for himself and Yahweh will hear when I call unto him. All right, Lord, he will hear, of course, you know, our cries as he heard our uh, king here, King David. Okay, one of our, of course, uh, forefathers, um, you know, great men of Israel. All right. But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. And you have, of course, the jewels of the Lord are the elect. Okay. The Lord set apart him also the nation of Israel. Okay. The Lord set apart his elect. The one third. Of course, the prophets of the 144,000. And he has the rest of the remnant. You know, which are believers that are men and their children, who the Lord gonna have mercy upon in this time, okay, uh, by allowing them to uh, be delivered from this destruction, and even if they are to die, their works do follow, them. okay. So the Lord has set apart to Himself or for Himself the godly, okay. So the Hebrew word of the day. Is going to be where it says to be set apart. I will. There you go, right there. <clears throat> you hear it, you see this in the Hebrew, which it reads, wa, the I wa, but, which means, but no. Uh, this root would be you die. You die means to know. Wa die wa. All right, so no, but no, kaya, which is that, ha pala, 
which in this case means set apart. Yahweh, the Most High. Chesayad, which goes into holy, right? That is whom is godly. Okay. Holy one. Pious, kind, and faithful ones. Okay, the this, this saint. Alright, which would be the saints, the uh, Israelites. Sorry, with the elect. A what is, is to him. To him or for himself. Yahweh, the Most High. Yahs, I think, mean either shall or he. Um, Shammai is here. See what it got. Uh, it says will here. Bakura. Yeah. When I call. Uh, all is to Yahweh is him unto him so you have that all in Hebrew which if you read it all together what the I wa kaya ha pala Yahweh chasayad lawa Yahweh yashemai ba kura all Yawa. Repeat. Wa da I wa kaya ha pala Yahawa chasayad lawa Yahawa yashimai ba kura all Yawa. Okay? But know that the Lord Yahawa has set apart him that is godly for himself. Yahweh will hear when I call unto him. Now going into set apart. The actual Hebrew word for set apart. Which we've seen in the Mesotoric text. Hapala. Going back to this root. Pala. Alright. Which means to be distinct. Marked out. To be separated or distinguished. Distinguished. Distinct. To be set separate and set apart. Also means to sever or make wonderfully a difference. Put a difference. All right, and the Lord definitely put a difference between a uh, hey, Israel. All right, you have Israel, the Most High. You know, you have, of course, the wicked two thirds, and you have the nation of Israel even to itself. Okay. Of which we are the Lord's portion, but the Lord is dealing with his elect. Now, Pala. So if you're wonderful, then you're going to be set apart. Alright? You are set apart. You are distinguishable. Which somebody, when you distinguish something, you got to cut and separate it. Which ultimately give you the the, the understanding or you come to the rationalization that this particular thing is wonderful or magnifical all right so pala is the hebrew word of the day let's check something Distinguish, and that goes with tasting, having taste, right? Meaning to perceive, distinguish is to make out, to separate, to keep, or mark off, distinguish. All right. Show marvelous. That's another thing for us. We can feel great about ourselves. 
uh, because the Lord believes us to be wonderful. You know, it set us apart. All right, and it's due us having His laws, statutes, commandments. Yeah, we are separate and marked out. Okay, so the Hebrew word again is pala. The Hebrew word of the day, giving all praise to Yahweh Shem Shai, Hashem Kodesh. Hopefully, you know you've edified the lesson. If you don't understand any of the Hebrew, remember it's Paleo Hebrew script, which we do understand the Assyrian too. But have the original, okay, writing. Paleo Hebrew. Shalom to the elect. All praise the Abba Shemashai. Shem Kagadash.